Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about um, hair care products. I've never done a hair care products video before and today is going to be my first one. And the reason I really haven't done one before is I've never really accumulated many interesting hair care products to talk about because I just pretty much use whatever I could find at Boots or any drugstore. And I actually got bought some really nice shampoos for Christmas and I just really want to talk about um, what I recommend, what I use personally. Obviously everyone's hair type is different but I'm just going to tell you what I use. So um, first of all with shampoo and conditioner, at the moment I'm using the um, Fakai Advance by Frederick Fakai which look like this and I think this is like the high-end version of his normal line which is Frederick Fakai and I know they sell these in America because I know they sell them at Target and um, Ulta and this is the Essential Sheer Butter with Moisturising Renewal Com Complex now these are fantastic if you have dry hair now I think the mistake with these is because well, not the mistake but I think the mistake I made with these is that my hair is really not that dry and if I use this too much it can make me need to wash my hair faster so I don't really use it a lot Um, I wash my hair about three times a week I don't wash it every day because I know the natural oils in your hair you know you can't keep stripping them out so I don't use it a lot I don't use it every day but it is a good shampoo when the you know the first two days of washing it after that it does get a lot greasier quickly because of the sheer butter in it but if you've got dry sham um if you've got dry hair this is absolutely fantastic for you but it's still my favorite that i've used so far um, another drugstore shampoo i could recommend is um aussie which is an australian brand i think or it might be american and they do the best three minute masks um, i'll post the link below if you want to have a look at that um, and other than that, I think most shampoos are quite good. Obviously, um, it is good to look for something that is sulfate-free and maybe para paraben-free. I'm not sure if this isn't. probably is not free of that. But um, yeah, look out for that when buying. Bedhead is also a really good brand. Um, a bit on the pricey side, but it is very good. So now on to um, hair masks, I guess. Now, I've just come across this brand called Macadamia, which is very, very similar to Moroccan oil and argan oil, all of that thing that started um, a couple of months, well, about a year ago, actually. Everyone started getting into that. And this is um, a really, really natural brand. And the packaging is huge. You get absolutely loads for your money. And it is very, very, very natural. In fact, they say it's so natural that you can actually use it on a newborn baby, which is a strange um, advertising claim, but um, that's how natural it is, I guess. So it's sort of a hair reconstructor for dry and damaged hair, and it's it's quite an intense treatment, so I wouldn't use it um, twice, more than twice a week. I would use it maybe once a week, and I don't tend to use it on top of my hair, I just use it on my um, ends of my hair if they need cutting or if I haven't really got time to do much with them and it's also really nice when you straighten your hair it ends up being really really glossy so that's really good as well and the next one which I love is the Bumble and Bumble BB Creme de Coco which looks like this and you can get this from Sephora I believe and it is very expensive well yeah it is kind of expensive actually for what you get and you look at these two, like, you don't really get that much here compared to this. But it is a nice treat. I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever used, but it is a delight to use. Because it smells so nice, but it's not a miracle product. So I wouldn't say this, go out and definitely buy this, but it is a nice product to use. But it's not a miracle product. The Bumble and Bumble Grooming Cream is really nice as well. If you really have... Um, maybe curly hair or hair that really has a hard time to straighten and style and this is pretty much just a styling cream um, I actually got this in my staff sale so I didn't pay full price for it and it's probably quite expensive um, full price and you can use this and mix it over with the other Bumble and Bumble products such as the thickening spray and it just really you put it in your hair and it's damp just to help style it so I use that if I'm going to be doing more of a curly look um, if I'm like texturising, if I want like a messy look, I will use the Bumble South um, Surf Spray. Uh, and I'm sure you can get other ones like this that are slightly cheaper as well. You don't need to go out and spend, what, £20, what, $20 on uh, this product because you don't get a great lot. But it is nice if you've got the money, which I don't. 
Uh, the next thing, when I wash my hair, I normally prep it with the BB tonic. Now this is pretty much um, vitamins for your scalp. Um, it's good if you want thicker hair. Um, I believe it's got tea tree in it as well. It says on the back, for smooth grooming, a rich mix of vitamins, herbs and tea tree oil tames, detangles and re refreshes your head, feeds your scalp and soothes your hair. So this is a really nice treat and I can also say that it does not run out fast. I've had this for about two months now and it is really still full and I use it quite a bit. So I would definitely recommend that if you haven't tried that already. Now on occasions I may use my Mythic Oil by L'Oreal which is kind of like a um, Moroccan oil but I only use it on the ends of my hair like I said. I mean if you look the texture is quite runny so it's not really a very coarse oil, it's quite a runny oil. But um, yeah this is good. Now I don't really tend to do much with my hair to be honest, I pretty much just wash it and put it up and um, sometimes if I feel like it needs to be looked after I blow dry it and straighten it but I'm not a huge um, styling fanatic but when I do style my hair I use the Tiji Catwalk Fashionista Spritz and Shine Heat Safe Styler which I use today and this is just basically protecting it from um, blow drying and um, straightening. Now the straighteners uh, that I picked up from Ulta are the Chai Chi and they're absolutely amazing, they're like polka dot which I absolutely love and they're, I can actually say um, confidently they're actually better than the GHD um, they heat up as fast as the GHD, you can curl your hair um, even better than the GHDs and they're cheaper, a lot cheaper actually so if you're thinking you get some um, strengths and you kind of want to invest in some I would recommend these so when I do my hair, I pretty much just blast dry it. I never really um, use a brush and I just use my straighteners. But mostly I just really curl the ends of it. Um, so I'm not really a huge maintenance person, but I do feel that these products help me maintain my hair, especially the macadamia. So I'm just going to put the links of these products below if you want to check them out. Um, these are all my honest opinions. Don't go out and spend, what, $20 on a mask that's not worth it. Um, I just like trying things really and I can tell you what I really think of them but um, there's also a lot of um, drugstore alternatives out there that you can uh, buy that are pretty much as good as um, the products that I've got so yeah thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon bye